Welcome back guys. Now I know I've done quite a few videos on hitting the deck recently, but once again the devs have changed the system for this 1.19 and so quite a lot of what I have posted recently is now not irrelevant but definitely not ideal with the new aiming system. So I suppose I should go into what's different first before I go into the tests. So basically, range found is now not a flat amount. So range found is determined on the distance to the target in this latest patch. That's the major difference. So let's see what distance we are. So we're currently at 25 kilometers. We've got a 21, 22 kilometer gun. Okay. So let's get within 22 kilometers. In fact, I could just switch to HE rounds and then I can show you. So 25 kilometers. Right, so. If we hover over the enemy, we've only got 126% range found. Now, the range found is calculated off your aiming speed. So the three major things that affect your aiming speed is radar, range finders, and your towers themselves, including the rear tower. They're a combined amount. So... The higher your aiming speed, the further away you start to accumulate range found bonuses. So it's not actually speed, it's more like range. Aiming range it should be called nowadays with this new update. So if you've got a low aiming speed, you'll only have 5% range found to a certain distance. And then when you get within that distance, it'll start accumulating higher than 5%. So, we've got 126% at the moment. We'll start moving towards the target, and you'll see that it starts rising. So it rises incrementally with distance to the target. So as we get closer, it starts to rise. So, because range found is such a massive stat compared to everything else being close to the target is much more important now with this system so I'll quickly demonstrate with a longer range gun Okay, so we've got the best towers, the best radar, and the best coincidence rangefinder, which gives the highest aiming speed. If you have a look at stereoscopic, it's actually 50% worse for the aiming speed, which means that it's worse for long range, which is the opposite of what it should be. So they've basically screwed over stereoscopic once again, but that's just how it is. So always choose coincidence, never choose stereoscopic. Okay, so if we have a look at the enemy. We are at 50% range found. So if we retreat at full speed. You'll see that it's gradually reducing and then it'll eventually get down to 1%, uh, 5%. Unfortunately, because we've uh, got a ship pointed so both turrets can't hit you can't actually get a range found bonus if two turrets, two turrets can't hit so I'll just turn the ship 
There we go. Okay, so 5% is the minimum range found that you can have. So we'll see when that starts to change and go higher than 5%. So it's just started to go higher at 26.5 kilometers. So that means that fighting above 26.5 kilometers is pretty pointless because your accuracy is going to be so bad. You're not going to have the ammo to be able to hit the target enough times. Where fighting below 26.5 kilometers, you start to accumulate masses of uh, range found bonus. So that means that certain guns are not very useful anymore at hitting the deck because you need to get within a certain distance before you actually start getting a decent accuracy versus them. Now, the reason this is a problem is to hit the deck you really want a 90 degree angle, well, 89 degree angle, basically. And the angle that you hit at is basically determined, I don't know why I clicked that, by the shell weight and the muzzle velocity. Now, with these smaller guns, all the way up to 15, 16 inch guns, the shell weight is so light compared to 17, 18, 19 and 20 inch guns compared to its muzzle velocity that you'll never be able to get a 89 degree angle with them. Which means that more often than not, you're going to be hitting them at an angle where you're going to get ricochets and blocks. Because what you'll find, if you're not at an 89 degree angle, there's a chance to hit the belt still. Now, when you hit the belt at an 80 degree angle or 70 degree angle, every shot that hits the belt at that range or at that angle will either ricochet off the belt, because it's coming down at an angle, but it's hitting the belt. So it's just a glancing blow off the belt, basically. So although it says that you've got a huge deck penetration obviously if it glances off the belt it's just going to do nothing so the ideal situation when attacking the deck is to get a 0% chance to hit the belt and an 89 degree angle on the deck which is not achievable with these smaller guns when I say smaller I'm still including 15 inches into this so now, the best guns to hit the deck is actually 20 to 17 inches, not 15 and 16, which is what it used to be. So, the shell weight is the major thing. So, if we have a look at the shell weight here... So the shell weight is 30, 3,300, 3,320 kilograms. And then if you compare that to a 15-incher, it's half the weight at 1,600. Now that's drastically going to change the angle that the shot's coming in at. So I've tested it. I, I haven't actually tested the 15-incher on zero barrel, but I have tested it on plus 10%. And to get the amount of pen hmm maybe it's best best off if i just do the test again so unfortunately you have to start quite close to the enemy to get them identified so it's going to be a bit of downtime but we'll start off close to the enemy to get them identified so we can get the tool tip up I'll, uh, I'll skip this part so you don't have to sit through me retreating.
Okay. So to get a 0% chance to hit the side, the belt, and obviously a 100% chance to hit the deck, with the 20 incher, we need to be at almost 16 kilometer range. So that is because of the shell weight. We can get a 0% chance to hit the belt at 16 kilometer range. Now, if we were to try and shoot from 16 kilometers with a smaller caliber gun with a lighter weight shell we're going to have a significantly higher chance to hit the belt and it's hitting the belt that is the the major problem not the penetration values but it's the actual chance of hitting the belt that you want to nullify. So I'm going to equip the 15 inch gun. So I can put the caliber up to increase the weight, but even with increased weight, we're still going to have far too much chance to hit the belt at short ranges. So I'm going to leave it at zero length. Once again, I'll skip this bit so you don't have to just watch me retreat. Okay, so at the same distance, 15.9 kilometers, we've now got a 15% chance to hit the belt. Now, obviously, because the trajectory of the shot nearly all of these shots that hit the belt we're going to end up getting either ricochets or blocks because it's coming in at such a steep angle it's not going to do any damage whatsoever so you'll find that although you've got a large uh, penetration value because of the angle that it's coming in at you've also got a high chance of ricochets and blocks so you want to eliminate that number as much as possible you don't want a 15% chance to hit the belt you want a 0% chance so let's see how far we have to get away before that number turns to 0% now our gun range is Okay, so to get a 0% chance to hit the belt, we now need to be at 22.7 kilometers, which is pretty much 7 kilometers further away than you had to be with the 20-inch gun. So, the major problem with this is the range found stat. So, we can test it now. Let's turn the guns on. So let's see what the range found stat is at 23 kilometers, and then see what the range stat is at 16 kilometers.
So at 23 kilometers, we were around 160% on the range found stat. So 160%, and then let's see how much we are when we get down to 16 kilometers. Unfortunately, because we're pointing directly at him, we're not getting the uh, rear turret firing at him. So we're just going to have to point to the side a little bit. Just going to have to wait for the target lock to sort itself out. Let's hope it does. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look see what it is at 16 kilometers. Got the target lock again. The front turret mustn't be able to hit now. This is just with two turrets. Come on. Sort yourself out, man. So it was 150% at 23 kilometers. And 430 at 16 kilometers. So almost three times as accurate. So although the gun itself, the 15.9 inch gun itself, is going to be a lot more accurate than the 20 inch gun. If you factor in the fa the range found, which gives it three times more accuracy at this range, the 20 inch gun is actually better, more accurate than the 15 inch gun, when you're at the range that you can't hit the belt. So... We can try the test again, reducing the length of the gun. We can go all the way down. In fact, if I go all the way down, I won't have the range. So, I think 20 kilometers at minus 10 might be enough. So, we'll do it on that. Okay, so the gun's max range with a minus 10% barrel length is only 19.1 kilometers. We're at 19 kilometers, so we're just about to exit max range. And we've still got a 7% chance to hit the belt. And at the trajectory that it's coming in, basically every single shot that hits the belt is going to get a ricochet or a block. So even with a minus 10% barrel length, we're going to get a 7% chance to get no damage whatsoever. And we also need to get 19 kilometers away to be able to even get down to 7%. So we've only got a 315% range found, which is still a third less than the 20 inch gun can get a 0% chance to hit the belt. So <laughs> I can understand if this is uh, hard to follow, lots of uh, numbers being thrown at you. <laughs> but basically, if you want to hit the deck with no chance of getting ricochets and blocks, 
you need to make sure that the chance to hit the side is 0% and that the angle that the shot's coming in at is 89%. So with the best conditions available, with the lowest muzzle velocity, all the way down at 560, the 15.9 incher is not suitable for hitting the deck. It's still, you know, you can still use it to hit the deck, but there are much better choices. So, if we try, in fact, we can we can just try now. We're obviously going to have to get back in range again. So let's see how many shots it takes to actually sink the enemy ship. In fact, to be honest with you, I don't even know if we've got enough penetration. We haven't got enough penetration with this particular shell type to penetrate the main deck. I think we can only penetrate the aft and the fore. So this is probably not the best test. So yeah, I won't I won't bother doing it with this shell type. What we'll do, change the shell type. So we're going to need standard. Increase the range because we don't actually need to see the stats anymore. So we're trying to hit the deck at full range. So our full range is 21 kilometers. So unfortunately we won't have the ship identified, so we're not going to be able to see the chance to hit the belt. But it's going to be approximately 5 to 7%, I think. So what we're looking at is how many how many shots it doesn't matter how many shots it takes to actually hit the thing. We're not bothered about accuracy at the moment, just pure shots landed. So how many shots need to be landed to be able to sink the enemy ship? How many times we get blocks and ricochets? They're the three things that we're bothered about at the moment. So we're going to try and stay at max range, or as close to it as possible. So we're actually getting over pens on the aft deck now, unfortunately. So we're in the right amount of pen to get a pen on the main deck. A little bit too much to not get over pens, unfortunately. So we can try to go a bit closer to the enemy so we don't get over pens on the aft deck. I might have used the wrong shell type here. Let's change it to semi-ballistic. Yeah, I think that'll be the, the correct shell type. Ah, uh, that shell type's actually reduced the max range of the gun, so we're going to have to get below 20 kilometers.
So we're landing penetrating shots on the main deck, which is good. Hopefully we're not overpenning the fore and aft. And we got a penetration on the aft as well, so that's good. Just about to leave maximum range, unfortunately. Just about managed to keep it in. Okay, so, so far we've had one blocked, so that's one of the 5% chance of hitting the belt. We've had 10 penetrations, which have obviously all hit the deck. And it's taken 189 shots so far.
So at the ideal range not to hit the belt, we're actually starting to run out of ammo. We got a partial pen there. So it's taken 280 shots. We've had one blocked, one partial, and 12 pens so far. So we can actually see the chance here. So we've got a 7% chance to hit the side still at maximum range. So it took 327 shots, 17 hits, <coughs> and one of them was blocked. So we know that the 20 inch gun needs to be at 16 kilometers. So let's try the 20 inch gun out. In fact, let's change this range so we're actually at correct range So we're getting a little bit too close now. Just see if we can try and stay above 16 if we can. So it took 21 shots, 3 hits. And we had a 0% chance to uh, get any blocks or ricochets. So let's try it out with the next size. Really, I should have been doing this at 0.9 inch. But let's start with 0.9 inch on this 19 inch gun. So I am going to need to 
find out what range that I don't get belt shots first. So I'll do that off cam and then we'll kick in when I know what range I need to be at. Okay. <clears throat> So the 19.9 inch is practically the same as the 20 inch, around about 16 and a half kilometers. We got one partial pen because I did get a little bit too close. I ran out of pen range, but it only took two hits. I didn't quite manage to see how many shots. Let's see if we can see from here. So 15 shots, two hits. So on the next one, I'm going to need to change this to semi-ballistic. Okay, I'll skip to when I get to the correct range. Okay, so we're starting to have to get a bit further out now. About 19 kilometers before we get a 0% chance to hit the belt. And we've got the correct amount of pen with this shell type at this range. So let's see if we can stay at 19 kilometers.
You only got a partial pen there for some reason. So we're actually getting quite close now, so we're going to have at least a 1%, maybe 2% chance, yeah, so we've we've got a 2% chance to hit the belt. We really need to get above 19 kilometers again. Unfortunately, we've got into overpen territory here. I think the ideal scenario for this gun would have been to increase the barrel length by about 2% just to reduce the pen at the correct range. Yeah, we're, we're quite high, 42. We wanted it around 35, basically. So increasing the barrel length would have definitely been a better scenario. So we've got two overpens there. Still doing massive amounts of damage with the overpens because of the size of the shell. A smaller caliber gun would only do... Well, 
incrementally worse, obviously. But like a 12 inch gun would only do about 100 damage if it overpens. So we've been a bit unlucky with the partials. But if we have a look at the enemy ship, he's he's practically dead. He's probably been like that for quite a while. So he's just got one tiny little compartment. So I think we can say that this ship's pra practically dead. <laughs> frustrating that all these shots are missing. But we haven't landed any blocks or ricochets and that is the primary concern when using a, a long range gun. Is trying to reduce the amount of blocks and ricochets that you get. So it took 117 and 9 hits but I think we were very close to killing it a lot longer ago than that. So we can test out the 17 inch next. I'll get into the right range. Okay, so this one needs to be at about 19 and a half kilometers to get a 0% deck uh, belt hit, sorry. And we've got a 38 inch pen, so that's pretty much spot on. So around 20 kilometers we need to be.
So we've been a bit unlucky with every single shot hitting the aft. So the, the damage isn't getting spread out very much. Fifty seven shots, eight hits, all penetrated. So the seventeen point nine was doing just as good a job as the others really. I know the twenty inch did one shot the enemy ship, so but the seventeen, eighteen and nineteen were all pretty similar. So now we're dropping down into 16 inch. This is when we're going to start noticing a rapid drop off in terms of needing to be too far away to get a 0% belt hit, which will then push us into the territory of having a terrible range found. So there's a chance I might need to up this ballistic cap. Let's have a look. So at 22.5, we've still got a 39.8 inch pen. So we should be okay with semi-ballistic with the 16 inch. I'll just get into the correct range. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem because there is a bug in the game, which had been fixed in the 1.7 and 1.8 patches but in the 1.9 it's returned again basically the stats in the ship designer screen get changed when you enter the battle so we haven't got a 38 inch pen anymore at a 22.5 kilometer range because our range has been reduced to 20.3 kilometer so we are basically in a position here where We've managed to get 0% deck at 20 kilometer range, but our gun has only got a 20 kilometer range. And obviously it's incredibly difficult to get in, stay inside that range. But also, we've only got a 32.6 pen. We need approximately 35 inch pen. So, we need a longer barrel gun, but giving us a longer barrel gun is going to reduce the pen that we've got. So we're going to have to redesign, put more AP on and give us more barrel length. So I don't know how much barrel length we're going to need, but it's probably going to be about 7% I'm guessing. So I'll see if that's the right amount. Okay, so we're pretty much spot on in terms of penetration at 21 kilometers, but I can't seem to reduce the side hit less than 1%. It's been at 1% for quite a while. I can, I can continue going to see if it does reduce less than 1%, but I've got a feeling that 1% is the best we're going to get. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to want to go any lower than 1%. So 21 kilometers, I think, is the best range for this gun. And it just means that we've, we're going to have a 1% chance of getting blocks and ricochets, unfortunately. So, so far in this test, I've only had a single block or ricochet out of, I don't know, about... 100 hits maybe 
And that one block was when we had a 7% chance of uh, hitting the belt. So the main, like I said at the beginning, the major thing that you want to be paying attention to when designing a deck destroyer is making sure it's got as low a chance to actually hit the belt as possible. That is your primary concern. Okay, we're getting a little bit close here. Let's see when it goes. So, 21 kilometers is the right range for the pen. Well, it's about 20.5. And it's just gone up to 2% at 20. So we definitely want to be around about 21 kilometers. Let's just see if we can extend the range a bit before I turn the guns on. Right then, I think that is as good as we're going to get it, 21 kilometers. So we've dropped down to a 6% chance, oh it's going up slightly, 7.5% chance. But this is because we're getting outside of the range found bonus. Which is why using a larger calibre gun is a much better option for these long range fights. So we're getting a bit too close again, I need to be at 21 kilometres. Yeah, we're getting into a similar range now that we're in with the 15-inch gun, where we're just too far outside of the range found range 
to uh, consistently land shots. So I don't think there's much point in actually trying to sink this ship. I think the test is pretty conclusive. 15 was the worst, 16 second worst, 17, 18 and 19 were all pretty similar and 20 was by far the best. Now what we can do is repeat the test with the 20 entry again just to see if it was pure luck that we managed to sink him in two hits. Now, we only actually used 20, we didn't use 20.9, so let's give it 20.9. This needs to be back down to semi. And then we'll see how we get on with this. So I'll just get into range again. Okay. So it's around about 16 kilometers we need to be at. The pen is slightly too high, so I think 2% barrel length would have been the ideal or the perfect setup. But we'll see how we get on at just 0% barrel length. Let's see if I can get back into 16 kilometer range before I... Turn the guns on. That should be fine.
been rather unlucky missing all these 10% chance shots. But I also haven't done very well at remaining at 16 kilometers. <laughs> We finally landed a hit. Let's have a look, see how close we can get. Uh, 15.8 before it went up to 1%. So we definitely don't want to be lower than 16 kilometers if we can help it. I mean, really, a 1% chance of getting a block or ricochet is not very high, obviously. But trying to get it at 0% is the goal. So there we go. All I did was land four shots. It only took 33 shots to actually land that and we sunk it immediately. I'm curious to see if I get a little bit closer so I have got a chance of ricocheting how high I can get the accuracy up. I think, um, oh, if I'm getting closer, I don't want to increase the barrel length. So let's start around 16 kilometers if we can, and then just gradually get closer and closer. So at the moment we're 16 kilometers, that's good. And at this angle, I should just get gradually closer without going, without closing the gap too fast. And I'm closing the, the gap quite fast. But we've got a 22% chance to hit, which is not bad at all. A lot better than the 7.5% chance that the uh, 16 incher needed. Just need to turn in slightly. Eight thousand damage in one shot. That's insane. Still no blocks or ricochets. Okay, we're at a eight percent chance to hit the belt now. And he's sunk. So that was around thirteen kilometers. So let's reduce this to about twelve. 
see when we start getting blocks and ricochets. Now, we are going to get into the territory where if we hit the belt, we haven't got anywhere near enough pen to actually go through it. So that's obviously an issue. <laughs> well, <laughs> one shot. <laughs> one shot and dead. <laughs> okay, we'll try again. We've actually started a little bit too close. I wanted it around about 13 kilometers, but this will do. One shot and dead again, practically. I know it is three shots that landed, but. Right, so. I mean, I'm pretty convinced that larger caliber guns, the largest you can go, basically, is the best way to destroy a deck. Now, obviously I'm in 1940 at the moment, so the biggest problem is going to be oxygen torpedoes. So what I'm thinking is going back through the years, I'll do this in a different video. But I'll do a video where I go back through the years. So I maybe a decade at a time. And try and find the best calibre for each decade. I reckon that would be pretty interesting. Because at the moment, in 1940, although this is the perfect range for this gun. It also means that we're going to be well within oxygen torpedo range. So oxygen torpedo range is 23.2 kilometers. So although this is the best way to destroy a ship, it's not the best way to keep your own ship alive because <laughs> you're going to have to dodge oxygen torpedoes. So I don't think deck destroying is the best way forward in 1940. I think you're better off going for HE incendiary and hitting the belt, just peppering the belt with incendiary. So in the next video, I'm going to see, because in 1930, they've got electric torpedoes, which have also got a considerable range. It's only 12.9 kilometers though, so that would be a good one to, to hit the deck, I reckon. So I'm going to do a video where I try and find the calibre for each decade. So yeah, I hope this has been enjoyable, helpful, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you soon.